Do we need gun training classes? Walk with me. It's cracking with a family. It's your boy, Ann Diesel. What's happening with you? Super swag. Yeah. Yeah. That's my dog. Hey, I see a lot of conversation in a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of YouTube channels. Biggest question I see so far as of right now. Is do you need training? Your boy, Hollows, yeah. 10 round, 9 millimeter. It is what it is. Yes and no, in my opinion. It's only an opinion. What I say is not law. What I say is not scientifically proven. I am a man with an opinion. And that's it. Take it for what you will. In my opinion, no, you don't need training to operate a firearm. The direction that America is going at this particular moment, there can be civil unrest at any point in time because they are going for the jugular. Who? Our government, who don't understand that we employ them, we pay them, although we are forced to pay them. Slavery? No, no, no. Anyway, they are infringing on our laws on a daily basis, and it is disgusting. So with that said, civil unrest is a major possibility. If we're going to defend ourselves against a military force, we must be able to fight fire with fire. Let me let me break it down to the the lowest, the layman's terms. When a boxer gets in the boxing ring, he's fighting a boxer. They have similar training. They're equal adversaries. A boxer cannot get into the ring with an MMA fighter. We saw that already. Floyd Mayweather versus McGregor. You remember that? I saw that. My sister-in-law purchased that. I put down, of course, because, you know, I don't like just getting stuff for free. So, yeah, I put down. But my sister-in-law ordered that fight. We went over there, had drinks, had good food, had a good time watching that fight. The reason Mayweather won is because he wore the MMA fighter, Conor McGregor, down. They weren't equally yoked. There was certain moves that McGregor used that were illegal in the boxing world. Therefore, boxing can only be matched with boxing. If we're gonna fight a military force, we have to be militarily, if that's a word, trained. Yes. In case of civil unrest, no, if you are just trying to defend yourself and your family, you know, freedom, preservation, all that good stuff, no. So and I think I'm gonna go get me some training. It sucks because I live in desolate, isolated, ice covered Alaska. So I would have to travel out of state to get reputable training, but it is what it is. I think it might be necessary with the temperature of the political agenda at this moment. That said, I don't need military training to defend myself, my family. Old ladies have been doing it forever. Women, men, frail, buff, big. Yeah, but to fight fire with fire, I think it may be necessary at this point in time.
So take that for what you will. Really appreciate y'all watching. My riders, my day ones, new subscribers, everybody in between. Don't study my moves, just check my footwork. Salute.